Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the KB Shimmer Summer Collection for 2016. There are 12 polishes here all together. These are releasing on June 1st. I don't know the time, but I feel like KB Shimmer usually puts them around noon Eastern time. That's just a guess. But I will link the website down below where these will be available on the 1st when they release. And I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Neon Me, and this is a white curly base with neon, purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, and blue circle glitters. They're like smaller circle glitter, and then there's a very fine um, neon micro glitter that runs throughout it as well. I do see blue and pink and yellow and purple in the really fine micro glitter. So here's one coat. So the base on this one is pretty sheer on the first coat. I am trying to thin the base out a little bit because it wants to go on a little thick for me. And it does take quite a bit of manipulation to get those glitters, the circle glitters, spread out. And I didn't get a ton on the brush. I don't worry too much, still trying to spread them out, about coverage with the glitter on the first coat of a curly like this. Um, I just worry about getting an even coat of the base. Formula is good on this one. I do think if you applied too thick of a coat, it would run down the sides of your nails, so you do want to be careful there. And again, I'm just trying to get a few circle glitters spread out while not getting too thick of a coat at the base. That's not like a huge flaw in this polish. Crellies in general just apply like that. There's definitely a trick to applying crellies that doesn't apply to other polishes. So here's two coats. So everything is applying a lot more smoothly on the second coat because it has the first coat to stick to. It is still a little bit sheer, so I'm going to do a third. And again, the formula is easy enough to apply. It's not any different than any other Crelly. And it definitely applies a lot easier for me on the second coat because I do swatch without base coat just because every polish performed differently over different base coats. I feel like it's a little bit more fair this way. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely in three, and that third coat adds just enough circle glitter to make everything look nice and even throughout all the layers. The base on this one will dry down a little bit smaller than the glitter, so you will want a top coat to smooth everything out. So there is three coats of Neon Me. The next polish is called Don't Play Koi, and this is a white curly base with gray, turquoise, and these neon kind of reddish pink glitters in a bunch of different sizes. There's like medium sized hexes all the way down to a really, really fine micro glitter. So here's one coat. This one is also sheer on the first coat. You get a little bit of glitter on the brush, but I don't concern myself too much with getting the glitter evenly on the first coat, because usually by the third coat, you can't see what's in the first coat anyway. The formula is the same as the last one. Easy to apply. It is a little bit difficult. All Crellies are a little bit challenging. I do think if you did this one too thick, it would run down the sides of the nail, so I'm trying to thin it out on the sides a little bit. So here's two coats. So this one is still a bit sheer on the second coat. It is going to need a third. I am doing some swirling to try to get some of that glitter on the brush. And like the last one, it definitely sticks to itself a lot better on the second coat than it sticks to the bare nail. But with base coat, that shouldn't be an issue. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely on two. Three. I don't know what's happening. This is another one where the base is going to dry down a little bit smaller than the glitter, so you will want a top coat to smooth it out. It shouldn't be too difficult to remove. There's not a ton of glitter in here, but some of those pieces might stick to the nail. So there is three coats of Don't Play Koi. The next polish is called Good Reef, and this is a corally pink with a blue, it's kind of like a blue to purple shimmer. So here's one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. Formula feels good though. So here is two coats. So it's still a bit streaky and uneven on two, so I'll do a third. Again, good formula. It dries kind of semi-matte, so you would want a top coat, but the shimmer does stand out pretty nicely. So here's three coats. This one is still a bit streaky on the third coat. I can still see some pretty prominent dark spots where it's not completely even. I do top out on three coats for swatch videos just for time's sake, but you would have to keep going with this one if you wanted it to cover completely. So there is three coats of Good Reef. So the next polish is called My Tie One On, and this is a yellow, like a pastel yellow, with a ton of gold to slightly green shifting shimmer. So here's one coat. So this one is pretty sheer and a bit streaky on the first coat. It should cover a little bit better though because it has a much denser shimmer. So here's two coats. This one is starting to build up pretty well. It's a little bit streaky still, not terrible. So it is going to need a third coat. 
This one also dries kind of semi-matte, so you will want a top coat. So here's three coats. Three coats covers almost completely on this one. There are still some very minimal streaks. I don't think it's a huge deal on this one. They don't stand out as much as they did in the last one, but they definitely are still there. Like I said, you will want top coat. Help make it shiny. So there is three coats of my Tai One On. So the next polish is Suit the Breeze, which is <laughs> kind of a periwinkle color with a pink to purple shimmer. So here's one coat. This one is also a bit sheer on the first coat, a bit streaky. Formula feels good though, and that shimmer does stand out nicely. So here's two coats. So this one is actually building up really well on the second coat. It's not completely there. There are still some darker spots where it's not even, so I'm going to do a third. But this one looks about as good on the second coat as the other two did on the third coat. So I think this is going to look really nice in a third coat. So here's three coats. And this one does cover completely in three. It dries a little bit dull, but not as dull as the other two. I mean, I still recommend a top coat, but it's not as bad. So there is three coats of Suit the Breeze. So the next polish is called How Low Can You Flamingo? And this is a neon pink. Uh, it's totally freaking my camera out. I've tried to turn my brightness down even more and it's not working. Um, neon colors are, really are a struggle to film. So here's one coat. So this one has amazing coverage on the first coat for a neon cream. It is pretty opaque. It's a little bit streaky. It's definitely going to need a third coat, but it is very, very bright and has a perfect, perfect formula. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. Depending on your application, you might need three. If you have a little bit heavier of a hand, you might end up with some streaks. This one does dry matte, so you will want a top coat. This is a little more on the hot pink side than on the Barbie pink side, like it's showing on camera, but my pictures are color accurate. So there is three coats of How Low Can You Flamingo. The next polish is called Ready for a Good Lime, and this is kind of a neon pastel pistachio color. So here's one coat. So this one covers pretty well on the first coat. It is a bit streaky still. Like the last one, fantastic formula. So here's two coats. So this one covers completely for me in two, but it's another one that I think is right on the edge. Depending on your application, you might end up needing three. It also dries matte, so you will want a top coat. So there is two coats of Ready for a Good Lime. So the next polish is called Playing with the Buoys. A really, really interesting color. It almost reminds me of like a slightly more blue version of China Glaze Sea Spray, but without the shimmer. So here's one coat. This one also covers pretty well on the first coat. There are some streaks. A lot of those streaks seem to be kind of filling themselves in as it dries though. Formula is fantastic, just like all of the creams in this collection. So here's two coats. So this one also covers completely for me in two, but it is another one that I think might be right on the edge between two and three. This one doesn't dry as dull as the other creams do, though. I mean, obviously, like I say all the time, I still recommend a top coat, but it doesn't dry matte or anything. So there is two coats of Playing With The Buoys. The next polish is called That's Nude To Me, and this is a slightly pinky nude holographic. So here's one coat. So this one is a bit sheer on the first coat. I can still see through it to my nail line. It's a little bit hard for me to tell exactly how sheer it is because it is really close to my skin tone. Great formula on this one and the holographic looks like it's going to be really strong. So here's two coats. So this one is building up pretty well. I can still see my nail line though so I'm going to do a third. But it does apply really evenly and the holographic is nice and strong. So here is three coats. This one covers completely in three. And like most holographics, they will be a lot, the holographic effect will be a lot stronger after it dries completely. So there is three coats of That's Nude to Me. The next polish is called Along for the Tide, and this is a deep blue, it's kind of like a shimmer holographic. It has a blue to pink shimmer that runs throughout it, but it also has holographic. So here's one coat. Oh, this one is a little bit sheer and uneven on the first coat. Formula is fantastic, and I do feel like the holographic stands out better once you get it on the nail than it does in the bottle. I actually didn't even realize it was holographic at first until I put it on my nail. So here's two coats. 
So this one does cover completely for me in two. It doesn't have as much of a linear holographic effect as the last one. It's more scattered. You'll definitely see it reflecting in the sunlight, but it's not going to stand out too much beyond that shimmer in indoor lighting. So there is two coats of a Long for the Tide. So the next polish is called One Night Sand, and this is a kind of rose gold version of the birthstone polish, as if you remember the birthstone collection that KB Shimmer did. There were a bunch of different colors for each birthstone, and they had silver flakies and holographic and were super, super sparkly. So this is a rose gold version of that same birthstone polish finish. So here's one coat. So this one actually covers pretty well on the first coat. It's a little bit sheer still. Fantastic formula on this, and it is absolutely packed with flakies. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. This is super, super shiny. It does dry smooth because those flakies lay flat. You should still use a top coat, but it won't be chunky at all, and it won't be difficult to remove either. So there is two coats of One Night Sand. And the last polish is called Gull Get Real, and this is another birthstone style polish with the silver flakies and the holographic. This is kind of like a deeper, I don't know, like cooler purple color. At first glance, I wanted to say it was like a gunmetal, but I can definitely see some more purple around the top there. So here's one coat. This one also covers pretty well on the first coat, a little bit sheer still. Same fantastic formula. I don't have any of the birthstone polishes out next to me, but I do feel like the silver flakies in these two are a little bit smaller than they were in the original. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. Again, the flakies lay pretty flat. They won't be chunky at all. I still suggest top coat, but it's not like it'll be uneven without it. So there is two coats of Gull Get Real. So my tie went on was actually kind of a surprise favorite for me. I really, really liked this one. The other, the first shimmer that I swatched in this collection was um, Good Reef, and I wasn't super, super thrilled with this formula, so I was kind of expecting all of the shimmers to be like that. Like, I mean, it still took three coats because it's a light yellow with a shimmer, but I really liked it. The shimmer was really, really strong in there, so it really added something else to the yellow, and it was just gorgeous. And the shimmer shifts too. Like I can see pink and blue in the bottle here. Um, I see gold in my swatch pictures, so it's just a really good polish. I like this one a lot. So that is the KB Shimmer Summer Collection for 2016. Again, those are releasing on June 1st. I will link the website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later.